PC Wiz Kid here with a preview of what's coming up next. I have here the Ryzen 5. That's right, AMD released this on April 11th, just last week actually, and I got the kit and everything is getting ready to go on this performance series system that I'm going to be building. So in the box here from AMD, I have various different flavors of processors to uh, check out. We're going to be looking more closely at the 1600X, okay? That's the 6 core, 12 threads. Now, of course, depending on what you're trying to do, what you want to do with your PC, maybe 4 cores with 8 threads is good enough. Just like an Intel Core i5 type of CPU from Intel, this is going to try to compete against that, right? It's positioning itself here against the Intel Core i5 uh, 7600K, for example, all right? I'm going to be pairing this up with the Predator 240 gigabyte uh, SSD drive here, the M.2 socket, the PCI Express Gen 2 X4 speeds that we're going to be getting out of this, beautiful, and the Predator matching DDR4 memory, 3200 megahertz on this. We're going to give it a wallop of performance in this machine. Now, like I said, you don't have to get the 1600X, you can get the 1500, 1500X is fine, 4 cores, 8 threads. I'm going to be putting it in this motherboard using the AMD 350 chipset, okay, so the Gigabyte Gaming 3 RGB motherboard here is ready to go for Ryzen, and I'm going to be installing the 1600X in this motherboard to maximize performance. Now, this is priced at a range, again, depending on what you're trying to buy, right, 4 core versus 6 core uh, with 12 threads. Uh, in a range from $169 all the way up to $249 US. Okay, that's the manufacturer's suggested retail price. You might find it for less, you know, depending on the retailer. But there are the differences between them, so you get an idea, right, on where we're at. The motherboard, again, has to use that 350 chipset, that B350 chipset from AMD. Should be on that motherboard so you get the maximum performance out of the Ryzen 5 CPU. Keep that in mind. In my previous review with the 1800X, I had a motherboard that had the X370 chipset, higher end enthusiast. Now we're going at the performance, more mainstream, um, but really we can get great, great results because it has everything the uh, Ryzen 7 has when it comes to pure power, precision boost, the X for uh, extended frequency range, and of course, all the AI that's built in, the smarts in this new technology. So you are going to get the latest and greatest with the Ryzen 5. So no worries out of there. So again, today I'm looking at the 1600X, 6 cores, 12 threads. That one has the maximum boost, the maximum uh, clock speeds compared to the other Ryzen 5 CPUs. Okay, here they are on the chart. And uh, of course it has the maximum amount of level 3 cache uh, compared to the Ryzen 5 4. 1400 okay so keep that in mind as well now because I'm using the 1600x which has the higher wattage 95 watts it doesn't come with the default fans that you would get with these other AMD Ryzen 5 CPUs so keep that in mind when you get the 1600x you will have to shop around for your aftermarket um, liquid cooling solution or air cooling solution such as these from Cooler Master they're ready to go for the AM4 socket and that's what I'll be doing and putting it in a nice little system, it might not look like my 1800X Ryzen 7 system, which is this one right here. Click on it if you want to see the videos of it. But I might change it around a little bit. So comment below, let me know what you think, and again, stay tuned and thanks for watching.